Welcome to Tucson, Arizona, everyone. The 2019 Mobile Mini Sun Cup MLS preseason well underway here in Arizona. Neil Sika with you, and glad you're aboard. The Houston Dynamo, the Seattle Sounders, who met earlier this afternoon in a 60-minute warm-up session, won by Houston 1-0, and now we'll see most of their first team in action here this evening. We take a look at the starting lineups for each club. Houston Dynamo with much of their first choice 11. Joe Willis will be the guy to get the starting nod going into 2019. So says General Manager Matt Jordan. Chris Duvall will play at the right back spot. New signing Kiki Struna. The Slovenian will pair with Minor Figueroa who comes over from Dallas in the offseason. Beasley the incomparable to Marcus Beasley at the left back spot. Matias Vera, Juan David Cabezas, who was a big absence for much of 2018 for Houston. And a big reason they missed out on the playoffs after making the Western Conference Final in 2017. Brian Schmetzer's Sounders and their first choice unit, which will go around 60 minutes. Pending a couple of names in there. Chad Marshall might be on a minutes count, but entering his 16th season. Few have done it better from the center back spot. A pair with Kim Kehe, Elvin Leardom, and Brad Smith. He was injured in much of the back half of his half season with Seattle last year. Will start at left back. And not a lot of young guys will come on. One of the academy players and New members of the Tacoma Defiance, which is just the rebrand and relocation of Sounders 2. But a lot of excitement building with the second team. Some final words from Demarcus Beasley. Kim Kehe, you see Seattle wearing gray and black. It's Houston in orange. There's Joe Willis. Had that big clutch penalty shootout in the semifinals of the U.S. Open Cup. Dynamo won a trophy last year. Played all of those games in Houston. Stefan Fry has been one of the best in the league over the last seven seasons. And last year was no exception. Third best goals against average mark. And Seattle had the second best defensive record. We're underway. On a 62 degree evening, Alejandro Mariscal, 38 year old referee, is in charge tonight. Here's Smith, Australian international, who played as a youth international for England and has only had a handful of games with the first teams that he has played for Liverpool and Bournemouth among them. A Sounders group that you know, the best second half in a single season in MLS history last year. They really turned the screws after a start where they were kept off the scoreboard in eight of their first 11 games, but finished with 18 victories. And then that enthralling Western Conference semifinal playoff series falling on penalties to Portland. I'll see the Timbers on Wednesday. Games all month long here in the desert. The most robust preseason by far in the league. It's a great ball down the line. And sent high and over the top. Where it will chase out. 90 seconds in. The excitement, of course, of having Jordan Morris back on the field for Seattle, who missed all of last year with an ACL tear. Let's see Victor Rodriguez, who had four goals in his last five games to end the regular season. 14-2-1 that second half for Seattle. Houston, conversely, missed out on the playoffs. Despite their 
triumphant U.S. Open Cup run. And they had a franchise best 58 goals scored, but also a franchise worst in terms of single season goals given up in 58. And with the likes of Cabezas returning to the lineup as well as Matias Vera, there's going to be cover for those guys in central defense. And Struna, new addition. Here's a guy who needs no introduction. Minotas to the crossbar. A single season best, 25 goals in all competitions last year. And with that crevice of space, nearly had the opening goal. It's a Dynamo team. That has made its hallmark on the transition game and that front four, Tomas Martinez, Romel Kyoto, Albert Elise, coming off a fine year, was an all-star. And then Manotas, 19 goals in the regular season. That was tied for fourth with Jossi Zardes. And then six more. In the Open Cup, he had two in the final in the victory against Philadelphia. Smith, Ladero, runs the engine room for Seattle. Coming off another splendid season, 16 assists. A heavy collision. As Smith and Vera collide. Vera, the Argentine, he's diminutive at 5'8", but he's tenacious. Played four seasons for Nueva Chicago. Down in the first division. Signed just before Christmas. Five minutes in. Rodriguez to run over it. Ladero to deliver it. No player was better in the league and passes completed in the final third last year than Nico Ladero. And as all of you know, number 10s don't grow on trees. He's one of the best in the league, third in chances created. Is Chad Marshall giving shade back to Stephen Fry, Kim Kihi. That was the standard center back pairing down the stretch for Seattle. As they got things going in the right direction last year, in fact, Kim Kihi started the last 26 games for the Sounders. They'll run out and Willis to play it the other way. The Dynamo 10, 16, and 8. Wilmer Cabrera kind of shyly hiding behind Davy Arno. What took them? So within one step of MLS Cup, just a couple of seasons ago, they have missed the playoffs four of the last five, if you count last year. But health, a big part of that. And you can really fear that attacking four when they get moving. Struna is there to seek out that pass into the hole. Elise. There are rumors persisting on him and Kyoto about possibly moving in the January window. That did not come to fruition, but stay tuned. As Beasley is trying to lug that along. Morris is out there. He's the other guy in this Sounders lineup that could be held on minutes instead of going... An hour might play just 45. We'll see. Tomas Martinez. And for a team like Houston, who wasn't on the ball a ton, their possession at 48% last year. Martinez, a guy that loves the ball at his feet. We'll see if that's part of the game plan going into 2019 to get him more inclined. 
and comfortable to spray it around. But this guy right here, Cabezas, big part of how they could have some success. You see the speed of Kyoto coming forward, but it's well played by Fry. And he will hammer that back. But a great touch and turn and trying to catch Willis off the line was Rui Diaz. Here's that through ball from Juan David Cabezas. And Kyoto on the giddy up. Who had a great summer in terms of goal scoring, but then went three months without a goal before notching one in the penultimate game of the regular season. 27 year old Honduran has 43 caps as a Catracho. The Slovenian center back, the new addition. Struna up for Elise. Here's Duval. And his cross floats away. A.J. De La Garza did play in the earlier, early session today. But he is on his way back after 45 minutes of action. Going to fly through Phoenix. He and his wife expecting their second child. The baby girl on the way. He's due back Monday. Houston will play again. In a split session. Kansas City being one of the opponents on Wednesday. Seattle will face Portland. Here's Ladero. Gustav Svensson pretty much does it all for this group. And now with the absence of Ozzy Alonso heading off to Minnesota. The roles of he and the likes of Christian Roldan, who was with the national team for their most recent two friendlies and victories under new head coach Greg Berhalter. Will carry the heavy load in central midfield this year for Seattle. That pass searching out Marshall and Leerdam stalking back to try and recover could not each team is mashed together some interesting looks through the first 10 minutes and we welcome all of those watching on with YouTube and Facebook live for both the Sounders and the Dynamo An overcast day throughout much of the state. It's been cooler, but Seattle folks don't want to hear that right now with all the snow, the unusual snow, the storms in the Pacific Northwest right now. Eight inches today and more coming through the weekend. Figueroa. He's plied his trade mostly as a fullback throughout his career and over 200 games with Wigan. Three Hondurans in that Houston lineup. Struna. There's Vera. And the switch from Cabezas. And Duval is not able to hold it in. So a little bit of a possession game for the Dynamo right now. Chris Duvall, who's in that right back spot, mentioning the upcoming second child for A.J. De La Garza, who's coming off of a season where he only played in four games due to ACL recovery. Duvall providing depth. He was acquired in December for a third round pick in next year's draft. Beasley slipped 
And that touch was heavy by Morris coming through. But the acceleration out wide and the good ball in leading to a little mischief. Brad Smith at this stage just looking for more minutes. He's only 24. Aussie by birth, he has 19 caps with the Socceroos. This is Struna. Aliash. His given name, they call him Kiki. And grew up off the beautiful Slovenian coast. Not too far from the Italian border in Piran. Now a World Cup veteran in Gustav Svensson. He appeared three times, got one start. As Sweden advanced to the knockout rounds in Russia last summer. Here he is again centrally, now finding Rodan. He hasn't had a ton of touches. He was top ten in the league in that department last year. That run carrying through, and Ladero has the opener. It's an easy finish. But all the work set up just prior. Ryan Schmetzer commenting that Ladero's been awesome in this preseason. It was Rodriguez doing the work as Roldan found him. And right on the top of the opening quarter hour, Seattle with a 1 0 lead. And along with those 16 dimes last year by Ladero, he had eight goals. Heading into his fourth season as a sounder. And we'll turn 30 next month. 54 caps with Uruguay. Came over a big acquisition at the time from Boca Juniors. There's the native son of the Puget Sound, Brian Schmetzer. 40, 22, and 20. And an MLS Cup championship. He took over, of course, in the back half of the 2016 season for the late Ziggy Schmid. But I can't forget the mark that Ziggy had not only on soccer in Seattle, but all across MLS in Columbus, L.A., and the landscape for that matter. Ryan Schmetzer. He was just such a nice guy. Wanted to help everyone that he came across. And many of the same eulogies given at his funeral in Manhattan Beach last month. He will be missed, that's for sure. 15th minute goal, Ladero. Houston, the home team. Vera. Now Duvall. 42 games over the last two seasons with Montreal. It's Kyoto. Hanging that up for Elise. He was in the top 15 in aerials 
last year. In fact, Kyoto's one of the better crossers. That's a fabulous save by Fry. As Manotas was sitting on the tying goal. Now Rodriguez. Created the first tally, looking for a second. Smith, tic-tac-toe, that is beautiful. And it's two. Just three minutes later, after Houston nearly ties it, they surrender a second in the 18th. Now well, very calm, then the overlap with Smith finding Rui Diaz. <laughs> that is a training ground goal for the Peruvian. Whose ROI in the 14 games that he played last year, I'd say is pretty darn good. 10 goals in 14 games, and five of them were game winners. So in a span of just under four minutes, Seattle has put up a two spot. And the second coming right after the Dynamo nearly equalized. Struna. Now Figueroa. 150 times he's played for his country. Lunging in to break that up. A heavy touch from Minotas. Svensson for Ladero. Elise creeps forward. Spills past Roldan. The Spaniard, Rodriguez, part of La Masia as a youth. Could not corral it. Duval does. A very entertaining 20 minutes between these two. Mentioned they played earlier this morning, late morning. A 1-0 Dynamo victory on an own goal. And you get those mini games quite a bit during this time of year just to build up the conditioning. Of course, that's always the conundrum, especially for a team like Houston, who's going to try and get fit in a hurry and then get sharp, which is always working against MLS teams heading into the CONCACAF Champions League, which they will resume action for the first time in six years, not since they went to back-to-back -back MLS Cup finals in 11 and 12. And then the 12-13 season, they were in the CONCACAF Champions League. That was a heavy foul on... Rui Diaz. And the round of 16. Of the format which was changed last year. We'll start for Houston on the 19th of this month. So just 10 days away. Guastatoya in Guatemala City is the first destination. And the return leg at BBVA Compass Stadium is later in the month on the 26th. At the midpoint of the first half, look at that last foul on Rui Diaz. A little late from... Juan David Cabezas, but that's the hard man in the middle that they need and miss sorely last year, including aging bodies in central defense. Leonardo, Felipe Senderos, who was out of contract and did not return. Kyoto trying to hit 
Elise. Or rather, Beasley. Here's Kyoto. Led the league in successful crosses. Completed last season with 36. That time trying to play it along the ground. That is Nick to midfields. Figaro will give way. Well, Beasley's initial contract or was out of contract going into this past offseason, and then they brought him back his 20th professional season for the captain. Eleven of them in MLS, and the first five are with the Chicago Fire. And it'll take a roll at Struna. Now Cabezas, Manotas, Kyoto's run. Good tackle by Leerdam. Great speed for the right back and maybe he doesn't get the praise that he often should for the 28 year old. Dutch defender. Off the corner. Punched out by Fry. His save and boy, he's had the flair for the dramatic in the clutch. Say no more than MLS Cup in 16 and even in a preseason game like tonight with the stop he had. Gives your team a big lift, and then two minutes later, Seattle comes down, scores a second. Ladero and Rui Diaz, the goals. Rolled on. Leerdam. Incising that to the Uruguayan, Rui Diaz. A little bit of a stalemate. Roldan stays strong, fighting off Albert Elise. Drawing the oohs and ahs. Off the Houston win at midfield, back in possession. Cabezas. Touch for Martinez. Elise trying to take Smith. Martinez. That drew away from Fry's far post. Now the 1v1 work of Albert Elise. Support came late and not a bad effort. but not hit flush from Martinez. He was in his third year with the Dynamo. He's only 23. It's a hard foul on Ladero. Stefan Fry, not only third in the league in terms of his goals against average, fifth in saves, and fifth in save percentage. And while Seattle was near the bottom in the early portion of last year. They were in games. They just couldn't score. Well, the defense was always standing strong. Of course, Rui Diaz comes in. Clint Dempsey retired at the end of August. But the attack suddenly sprung to life. And included in those 14 wins in the second half, a league record nine game win streak is Ladero okay. Sounders fans holding their breath for a few moments as they wear their gray training tops in this one. Maybe one of the things the technical staff 
With Garth Lagerway, Chris Henderson, Ryan Schmetzer mentioning he likes their attack. Maybe looking at some midfield depth before the season starts. I've actually got Saad Abdul Salam here and we'll start working with the first team going into next week. Former Kansas City fullback. Not much for him at NYC either. Sterna. Speaking of NYC, Struna's brother had a little cameo with the Pigeons. Going back a couple of seasons now in 2017. Martinez. Matias Vera. As we're almost a third of the way through. Here on this cool but comfortable evening. And a stingy tackle from Rodriguez on Duvall. And a little bit of a glare too. Well, it's always good to ratchet up that competitive spirit. That MLS off season is so short. Especially if you're a postseason participant that you don't have a long time to find the groove. Before the first weekend of March hits. New playoff format. And 24 teams with the inclusion of FC Cincinnati. There had been some scrappiness in the midfields. You've seen it on a couple of the tackles. And now Alejandro Mariscal talking with Martinez, Roldan, and Ladero. Halting things for the moment. Maybe that's where it's going back to that attempt to win the ball by Tomas Martinez. Kim Kihi, no harm done in the end. It's always another important part of the preseason coming out healthy, too. Juan David Cabezas is furious. He thought he won that clean. Alejandro Mariscal did not agree. For that descent, a yellow is out. So Cabezas, who missed 28 games last year. Thigh problem started in March and lingered into May with a hamstring issue and pretty much kept him out of the lineup until the start of September. He did come back to Play in the Open Cup final, but then was shelved for the last month of the regular season. Used that hand as leverage, but otherwise looked pretty clean. On that takeaway. Brad Smith. Came through Liverpool's academy system. He only played... And a handful of games before Liverpool, much of his action in the reserve teams, mainly the U-21s. There's a shove. 
As that play accelerated. And with this chippiness that has suddenly come into play over the last few minutes, Wilma Cabrera wants an explanation. Alejandro Mariscal providing it. You saw that shove leading to the foul and now this free kick. 33rd minute. Ladero in the 15th. Rui Diaz in the 18th. Victor Rodriguez. 29 year old from Barcelona into the wall. Ladero trying to chase after it. Now that is the plan for Seattle to go with these regulars for about 60 minutes or so. Houston maybe a shade longer at 75. Joe Willis. Played collegiately at Denver. And began his MLS run with DC United. Only 23 games there as the primary backup to Bill Hamid for three seasons. Svensson sweeping that away to the Sounders bench. Smith operating on a lot of work against the Bolt, that is Elise. Hard to believe Albert Elise is only 22. Ran into Wilmer Cabrera actually at the Houston airport. He was still part of Monterey. Going to find its way back to Fry as the Dynamo. Try to take the pressure up a notch here inside the last 10 minutes of the opening stanza. Cabezas trying to step into that ball intended for Roldan. Smith got a hold of it looking for Rodriguez. Struna doing well to break that up. Ladero. Rui Diaz. Trying to cruise around Cabezas. But broke it up to start Elise in the right direction. And then not in sync with Duval. Pop over the top, and Smith is onside. But the pass is poor. Seattle still trying to take advantage of the numbers, and Houston, who had lost their shape. And the flag goes up for offside. And that led to the jailbreak. And what was looking like a two on zero, but the pass offline. These two met in the back half of the regular season last year. In fact, in a span of 13 days, Sounders won both. Elise driving it into Smith. 
And a corner upcoming. Second of the first half for Houston. Who thought they had the tying goal from Minotas. Just moments after going down, but Fry. With a great save. And it was 2 0 courtesy of Rui Diaz on a build up off the left side. Fry again doing work. Beasley. Duval. Sinks into the middle for Vera. Elise. Houston, a top six team in terms of their crossing success last year. But as I mentioned at the start, it wasn't the goal scoring that was the problem. Cabezas. Now Figueroa. Well, tonight alone, that left side of the Houston defense on that back line, 40 years of professional soccer between the two. And Figueroa and Beasley, that is something. Kyoto and Elise had switched sides, and Kyoto trying to Pick out his countryman. Rui Diaz. Is not happy with the Slovenian Struna. It's the second hard knock he's took here in the first half. But it's a play on. And the Dynamo have shown a little bit of balance in possession here in the first half. And would love to get on the board before the break. Through a crowded middle, Manotas. One of that back from Duval. It's Kyoto. Kihi steps in front. Vera had the touch, but rolled on, swipes it away. Had the makings of a 4v3. But there is the worth of Cabezas coming back. Helps win it back for Houston. Romel Kyoto. Neatly chested by Minotas. And that set up the shot from Martinez that is just a whisker wide. Anytime this young Colombian Minotas can find a touch on the ball, something good usually ends up happening and sets up Martinez there. 23 year olds really started to come into his own after they sold Kubo Torres. Coming off a banner year for the young Colombian. And Dynamo fans hope more to come. Second yellow issued in this first half and both to Houston. That's Vera. Vera and Cabezas with bookings here in this opening half of play. Vera's just 23. Before Nueva Chicago, he was with San Lorenzo. Never played, though, for the Argentine club. He went on loan in Chile to play with O'Higgins. That'll be a Houston throw. Like you would come to expect in a preseason game. 
Moments of good soccer, moments of scrappiness. A pair of Seattle goals, 43rd minute. Chad Marshall. Oh, he and the likes of a guy like Michael Parkhurst, they seem to get better with age. Great read on the game. Great pass here for Smith. Took a bad angle in Struna. Let's cut that off. Well, each Seattle goal has come off that right side of the Houston lineup. And I think there's been some confusion with the likes of Duvall and Elise. Perhaps possessing a little bit more than they're used to. It's the Dynamo team that will cut you up. Normally they'll sit in the banks of four and then unleash the fury with the speed, but too often that balance has been off on that right side and even creeping centrally. Led to some of those runs and passes that have led to the goals. That hung up well. Jordan Morris climbing the ladder. But nothing more than a Joe Willis goal kick in the end. As we close in on halftime. FC Tucson, Phoenix Rising. The two clubs within a couple hours of each other. Phoenix Rising in the USL Championship, now rebranded. And FC Tucson, longtime PDL club. Now will be in USL 1, the third division. So they're excited about pro soccer here in Tucson. They are the hosts of this mobile mini cup. This is the only match of the day. Three games coming up on Wednesday. Two here at Keno North Stadium. Houston and Kansas City at four. And then the nightcap, Portland and Seattle. In the latter part of the month, we'll have Real Salt Lake, the Red Bulls, FC Dallas. All coming into town, Oklahoma City Energy. Speaking of FC Dallas. Sending condolences to the family of Fernando Clavijo. Passed away today from multiple myeloma after a five-year bout with the disease. Longtime coach and in his most recent role, technical director. Got knocked around through midfield, and there is the whistle of Alejandro Mariscal to put the first 45 in the books. Two goals in just under four minutes for Seattle. And Houston almost knocking on the board in between, but it's Ladero, Rui Diaz with the markers. And Seattle leads 2-0 at the half here in Tucson.
the world's leading provider of secure on-site storage container solutions.
Halftime at Keno North Stadium, Tucson, Arizona. And the Mobile Mini Cup 2019 Major League Soccer preseason. 2-0 Seattle leading Houston at the half. Neil Sika with you. And a first half which saw two goals in a span of four minutes for the Sounders. And Houston nearly getting on the board right before the second goal. Here's the first with Rodriguez a run through the Dynamo defense. Started on the pass by Roldan and then Lodero lashing it from a tight angle. Moments later, Duvall with an excellent ball. Manotas is kept out by Fry. And keeping it a 1-0 game. And then the ensuing sequence, again, that right side of Houston shape. Duvall had the pretty cross, but failing to track back. And the numbers running through, a tic-tac-toe ball easily slotted home by Raul Rui Diaz, who had 10 goals in 14 games to conclude the regular season last year. Goals in the 14th and 18th minutes. Ladero in the 14th, Rui Diaz in the 18th. So the first 11s or the personnel that started the opening stanza. Seattle's plans to have these guys go around 60 minutes or so, says Brian Schmetzer, and Houston about 75 with theirs. There are plenty of Sounders Academy players, as well as bodies signed to the Tacoma Defiance roster. And a completely different unit to see the field for Seattle right around the hour mark. Breeze has picked up a bit. Ryan Schmetzer. Third full season as the head coach. But parts of 10 years on the Sounders bench. He took over in the interim in July of 16. Jordan Morris missing all of last year. An early season ACL tear in February. While he was getting up to speed, there was no rush with him. Just 24 years of age and already 25 appearances for the national team. It is not Houston weather. As you see from Wilmer Cabrera, Davey Arno, and his great career as they're bundled up on the sideline. Whistle of Alejandro Mariscal, our referee, sends us into the second half. And a 2-0 Seattle lead after sweeping the regular season series with both games in October last year. As each team's second half of the regular season went in opposite directions. But the Dynamo did take home some hardware for that mantle as they have themselves a U.S. Open Cup trophy. As the song remains the same for the Naranja. Everyone that started is still on the field. Rolled on. Out wide, here's Morris and Beasley into the tackle. So a corner here, Ladero to take it. And that gets into some clutter. Out here, out 
Well, a little bit of a dust up in the penalty area. Well, that ball sent in. Walking out of there is Kyoto. He's upset. Let's take another look. That was whipped back in by Smith, but you already had Ladero being restrained by Marshall Kyoto. Is perturbed by something. Rui Diaz, who was fouled. A couple of times in that first half, not to his liking. And so the second half begins, much like the latter part of the first half ended. There's some arguments and some choppiness. Struna. Now Fry. That's a sloppy touch, and it leads from a no-toss coming in, and it's a penalty. Maro Manotas jumping on that loose ball off the Sounders turnover. And Alejandro Mariscal pointing to the spot. Now Gustav Svensson. Not the cleanest of touches, and Elise able to put Minotas in. So the Dynamo is four minutes into this second half with an opportunity to split the deficit. Uh, Minotas going to give way for Ramel Kyoto. Houston, a perfect four of four last year in the regular season from the spot. Kyoto had six goals. Looks for his first in the preseason here. The reaction and the picture tells you all you need to know. That was shanked towards El Paso. Yeah, just too much power. So it remains two nothing. Beasley. Off a quick little flick. Leared on the throw. Now Fry as Houston ratchets up the pressure. Struna back for Willis. The Slovenian was in the second division in Italy with Palermo before being acquired this offseason. Came right on the instep to Jordan Morris. He couldn't control it. And now Kyoto takes a tumble as he was coming in trying to win it against Roldan. There's another look. Well, Don was already into the slide, and then Kyoto just looking to avoid the contact went high. Well, he's a dangerous player, there's no doubt about that. Maybe a little bit of. He knocked to his pride here over the last few minutes. 
With the miss of the PK, of course, the way you land on just trying to avoid a body like that, you can have a little bit of a herky-jerky motion and end up doing more damage than you thought was possible. It's good to see him walk it off. And off sportsmanship, it's back to Seattle. So already a little bit of drama through the first eight minutes of this second half. We have about eight more minutes or so for these Seattle Sounders. Should be the plan. Rui Diaz. Brad Smith. You got Svensson rolled on. Kim Kehe, Chad Marshall. Leardam Morris. Ladero. And Rodriguez. Houston wins this throw. Chris Duvall, who started his career, and it was really humming along, coming into its own with the New York Red Bulls, and then had a big injury that sidelined him almost an entire season. After that came the nomadic life, moving around to different clubs, and the Red Bulls had found their replacements. Funny how that goes sometimes. But a fresh start here in Houston after the trade. Rui Diaz off the swivel, and the ball in from Leerdam. And Joe Willis looking to play it quickly under some, some mild man-to-man -man alignment from Seattle. Struna. And that rushed little outsold flick by Martinez. There's an unforced giveaway. There's the turn. All five, seven of them. But never shy on scoring, whether he was at Morelia, Universitario in the Peruvian First Division. Played 36 times with Peru, including at the World Cup. He had two appearances off the bench. He played some very entertaining games, but unfortunately for them on the short end of all their games in the group stage, or the first two, rather. Manotas fouled. There's Elise, the Colombian. He's kind of hunched over now. Going back to that last foul. But Seattle takes the turnover as they drive forward for a third. Rolled on. Leerdam off the spokes of Beasley. It's a corner. Second of the second half for Seattle. And the instructions being given to a few on the bench now as changes upcoming. And the reserves continuing to loosen Ladero's corner. Another top five component in the league as it's jostled around with his back to goal as Fenson couldn't control it. Beasley still has wheels, but a better angle from Smith to run that down for Seattle. It's Ladero. Intended that for Morris. Vera broke it up. Juan David Cabezas. Wide for Ramel Kyoto. Staying with it off the block cross. Served up in Cabezas. Looking to hit a lollipop out of midair. 
It was last off a sounder. And so the Dynamo get their first corner of this second half. As we're almost two thirds of the way through. It just ski balled off the knee of Leerdam. Yeah, right place, right time for Cabezas. A couple of cracks on the noggin there for Houston. And in the end, it's over. Ball took a soft bounce at first. And another close call inside that Seattle penalty area. Fry the big save in the first half. And Kyoto, the big PK miss. Just a few minutes into this second stanza. Marshall rising. Rolled on. Now Gustav Svensson. Now that pass picked off by Elise. Left off the Sounders. And rolled on into that challenge. Hobbled just a bit. As he has exploded onto the national team scene. The 23 year old, already seven appearances. In his fifth year. If you're Brian Schmetzer, you're happy. And guys like Jordan Morris, Chad Marshall. For one reason or another, able to play the length of their shift tonight. Let's talk about both of them coming off at the half, but they've stayed on. Kyoto trying to go through a minefield here. Vera had the shoulder of Svensson. As we come up on 60 minutes. And the fire wagon personnel shift about to go down for Seattle as everyone jogging back toward the technical area. Elise driving forward. Able to have that disconnected, but it's out for a corner. And Houston was dangerous on the last one. Trailing by a pair, but they've had their moments. Leerdam fell to the Seattle fullback first. Of a second effort, backing up like a center fielder, Beasley. Now settling it down. Under the Tucson night sky, 30 minutes left. There's Marshall. Slipped in and took it away. Morris. Rodriguez's triple was heavy. And now Elise on the move. And they go right back to the flag on that far side of the field. Dynamo played here Wednesday against Minnesota. Game finished scoreless. That ball in on one hop right at Fry. They will start their MLS slate at home. In fact, they will be there for their first three games of the regular season. With Salt Lake, Montreal, and Vancouver coming to town. These two will not hook up until May at CenturyLink Field 
when Houston goes to Seattle. So the night is done for the Sounders starters. And the end result is a two goal lead. It's coming right around the quarter hour in that first half. 14th minute from Ladero, 18th minute from Rui Diaz. Earl Don, Rodriguez providing assists. There's quite a handful of Sounders fans, and it's great to see the supporters for all these teams out here making trips far and wide to watch their groups play. So now you've got some Tacoma Defiance players signed to that roster, Sounders Academy players, as well as some unsigned draft picks. Trey Muse is in goal for Seattle. And his mantle is full because he took home pretty much every major goalkeeping award in the country over his last two seasons at Indiana. He was born in Louisville and then drifted over to play in the Sounders Academy. Struna. Well, they say Slovenians are full of love. That was anything but. He had the elbow high and he is sent off. Now watch this again. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And at the end of the day, there's no reason for it, too. It's a preseason game. Just let the ball go out. So the Sounders training staff. Taking a look. I want to identify that individual. But first, let's set the dais here for these changes. Mentioned Muses in goal. Marlon Vargas, Josh Atencio, who they're big on. Amir Mokhtar is a guest player. They're the center backs. Connor Drott, the left back for Seattle. That Ray Serrano. Joel Rydstrand, who's out of Creighton, is unsigned right now. Struna the red card. And so the Dynamo down to 10. Denny Robles, Azriel Gonzalez, Alfonso Ocampo Chavez, another guy that Ryan Schmetzer is excited about. He says he's looked good in camp, and Alec Diaz. One guy not out there, but he played earlier this morning is Danny Leva. He's only 15 and more than held his own in the midfield for Seattle. So after the dust settles after that Struna red and everyone all right, 25 minutes left. And with that restart, it's delivered back in. Vargas took that free kick. There are six players out there for Seattle right now that are signed to Tacoma. Got a new stadium down there. Great new rebound as well. Duval up the line, Elise. And Ride Strand. Stepped in there. See the substitution. I'm 
Manotas' night is done, and Fuenmayor is on for the Dynamo. Alejandro Fuenmayor, 22-year-old Venezuelan. It was with Carabobo for three years and 71 games and 22 appearances last season for Houston and 21 starts. Just about eight minutes more for these Houston regulars. Fuenmayor will obviously stay on, but they're a body short after the red card to Struna. Beasley. Cabezas. Dynamo going into that win, so the ball holds up on the switch for Elise. Now Duval. And Elise again has that pumped out. Fourth corner of this second half for Houston. can follow along Wednesday on the respective Facebook Live and YouTube Live features for each team with their new opponents. It's a 4 o'clock mountain start for Houston and Kansas City. 7 o'clock for Portland and Seattle. Kyle Van Alston coming on for Seattle. And that is headed back across the face and then stuffed in on the second slash. Looked like it was Juan David Cabezas off the Elise header. That makes it a 2-1 game of the 70th minute. First, you don't succeed, try again. Muse had made the first stop. But Cavesas finally gets Houston on the board. And Alstein in for Campo Chavez. It took the unfortunate arm of Struna to the face that led to the red card. So down a man. The Dynamo now just down a goal as they have gotten onto the board. Just one goal through his 33 games for Juan David Cabezas. Coming in the regular season, that was in July of 2017. Now against this youthful Sounders group before they empty their bench in the next four minutes or so. Right strand. Big East midfielder of the year at Creighton last season. Van Alstein sending that right toward Joe Willis. Another hard collision, this time on Figueroa. There have been some black and blue tackles from the early stages of preseason. Marlon Vargas 
in on that crab claw. And he knows it. Got a yellow. Vargas is just 18. Played nine games for S2 last year. Vera. Tomas Martinez. There's Chris Duval in the Argentine. Ryan Strand's showing a little bit of pep. Quick restart, Beasley. Pinballing into the middle. Joel Rydstrand. And that effort from distance. A little trouble for Willis. Dynamo playing with 10. And we come up on the final quarter hour. There's Minor Figueroa. Beasley for Kyoto. It's a good test for these young players. These full internationals bringing it full throttle as Houston scrambling for the tying goal. Missed a penalty earlier in this half. Stefan Fry preventing a Mauro Minotas grade A chance in between the Seattle goals. That pumped over the top. Muse is out. And he plays it away. Trey Muse. First team All-American last year. Goalkeeper of the year in the Big Ten. Indiana got to the College Cup semis. Fell short against Maryland. Maryland won it all. They beat Akron. Good work through the middle here. Vargas. Got a little one two going with Robles. We spent three years in the Sounders Academy, Robles, before. Just getting a game last season with S2. Well, Vargas is going to come off. And the fans appreciate the effort from this group of Dynamo players who have gotten back in it despite being down a man due to the Struna red card. So now you've got fresh faces for Houston and Wilmer Cabrera. As the Hondurans, Beasley, Vera, Cabezas, the goal scorer, Martinez, their night is done. <laughs> Ronaldo Pena, when my oar stays on. Adam Lundquist, a little bit of a disappointing first year in Houston. Now in his second season, coming over from the Allsvenskan in Sweden. There's Pena. Can't hold that up on the channel. Tommy McNamara, first season in Houston Orange. There is first stop in Chivas and then the last four years 
for NYC, but it's Patrick Vieira left. He was a big Tommy McNamara fan. He wasn't going to find himself on the playing field all that much. So he was taken in the re-entry draft, made expendable. Is that shot going high from Darwin Seren? Boniac Garcia. Whose name, along with the likes of Brian Ching and Brad Davis, Pat Onstad. You'll have that name on the marquee. And some of the Houston greats. Van Alstein's going to get a booking here for a challenge up high. 78th minute. Kyle Van Austin playing locally with FC Tucson and then FEMA Community College, so somewhat of a fan favorite here in the crowd. Boniac Garcia's restart. Cleared away in the end. Seren sprinting back to take it. But it's coughed up by Willis. And then the youth showing there with the flag up for offside. Vargas had lost an edge. And he wasn't coming off earlier. He was just running over for a quick drink at the bench. On that last foul, Joel Wrightstrand. Atencio. There's some cover there. Attention to detail. As it's wide, and that's a great ball in, and the game is tied. Pena makes it two apiece with 10 minutes to play. As Marlon Hairston, who showed a lot of promise just a few years ago with Colorado. Lost his place in the shuffle in Denver last season. And the Dynamo will be happy to have him. And they gave up just a shade under 200000 in allocation money to bring him to Houston. 12th pick in the draft in 2014 and a precision cross for Pena. who had one goal in nine games last year. And so the Dynamo erasing a two-goal deficit. And probably on this night, with their starters going as long as they did, feeling they should have had at least two more. Credit to Fry and then the missed penalty thrown into that mix. But they have shown a little resiliency. Also doing so a man down. As that was an easy tap in from Pena. Nobody ball side on that ball in from Hairston. Working a hole in the ground by this corner flag. It's their fifth of this half out on that far right side. Bending around on the run is Boniac Garcia. But let's put it in perspective, too. You got a lot of youth and inexperience. Teenagers, in a lot of ways, for some of these. Younger sounder players that are still facing the depth of the first team of this Houston group. And Alstein closed down by Pena. 
And there's Atencio with the pass. Nicely done into the middle. And a great save by Joe Willis to keep it 2-2. Like it was Vargas who had that shot. Here's Hairston running through. Blazing a trail to the top of the six, and Pena is denied. Seattle backline recovering just in the nick of time. End to end stuff. Fun finish up ahead between these two. Lundquist. Great little turn, and then it's phased across the face of goal by Kevin Garcia. That was a great save. That was Willis. That was Alec Diaz who had broken in for the Sounders. for Diaz to put Seattle back in front. Pena, the very ambitious look. Diaz, one more body that'll be on that Tacoma roster. Had five games and two goals after a three-year academy career with Seattle. This is what Brian Schmetzer was talking about. He loves the confidence as that hung up on the roof of the net. And sails out of the end. It'll be a goal kick. Ray Serrano pressing his luck. The Moses Lake native. But the excitement, the craftiness of the midfields, the way the forwards have played. The young kids have impressed Brian Schmetzer. In these first 10 days of preseason, they were in California prior to arriving here. Spread across and Garcia and Hairston were inside the box. Memo Rodriguez delivering that cross for Houston. It's a frantic up and down. Crescendo in the last six minutes of this one. Seren, the Swede, Lundquist. Hairston setting up the tying goal to this man, Pena. Was crowded around by three, lays it off. Lundquist slipped. And they call the foul late, so a Houston free kick. Midfielder Memo Rodriguez off the restart and hung up there for the likes of Garcia, but the flag was up for offside. Garcia. A little bit of a rude awakening for young Ray Serrano there. And all these baby face sounders. Well, they have more than held their own. Here in the last 30 minutes or so. 
They've got some pep to them as well. Like right here. Shot coming through. There's Serrano. Joel Rydstrand. In search of his first MLS contract. It was the 40th pick in the draft. But they can't keep. And that swings a beautiful through ball to Hairston, who can put Houston in front, and he does. This time it's Pena for Hairston. Vice versa. And where they have been most lethal in their goal scoring prowess the last two years is on the break. And one sublime pass and Marlon Hairston has had quite a nice 15 minutes as he coolly slots that past Trey Muse. The Dynamo from 2-0 down to 3-2 up. They've played the last Twelve minutes down a man. Blunquist. Willis. Usually in these preseason affairs, there's little to, if any, second half stoppage time. We'll see. I think the Houston and Seattle communication staffs. A lot of bodies, a lot of jerseys to deal with in these early preseason games. Seattle not going quietly into the night. Perhaps a chance to tie it. Serrano running out of room. Sounders are going to get a corner. Robles, Serrano. Diaz, well impressed. Dynamo clear that away. And Pena springs Hairston again. Those two have been into a track meet here in the last 15 minutes. And they're at it again. But Pena perhaps getting a little greedy there. We get two minutes of second half stoppage time, so there you go. And the push forward with Fuenmayor having to close that out. This has definitely been the most enthralling part of the night these last 15 minutes or so. And both teams going for broke. Three, two, Dynamo. Poniac Garcia. Pena brings it down. Memo Rodriguez for Hairston. Ran out of room. Wanted to put it away. The goal and an assist in his 15 plus minutes. Another turnover at midfield. And the Dynamo looking to put a bow on it. Our producer, Alan Heil, director, Bob Akamian. I want to thank our crew on, on hand tonight at Kino North. Providing you the pictures all through this month of February and the countdown to another season of Major League Soccer. A little bit of a collision leads to the Sounders training staff coming out.
Chris Cornish, longtime head athletic trainer of the Sounders. That is the guest player for Seattle. Taking the brunt of that hit. Amir Mokhtar, wearing number 70. We're past the allotted two minutes. Should be a throw and a whistle in a matter of moments here. Trey Muse will get another goal kick in. Seattle and Portland, 7 o'clock Mountain Time on Wednesday. Preceding it, Houston and Kansas City at four here. And we'll have it for you. The Houston Dynamo down a pair of goals at halftime. Rally in the second half, despite being down a man on the Kiki Struna red card. So winning 3-2. Sounders down on the board first to the 14th minute. Rodriguez. This unimpeded run setting up Ladero with the game's opening goal. Two minutes later, Duvall, his cross, Manotas, kept out by Stefan Fry, one of the best in the league. And preserving the 1-0 advantage. The immediate sequence following, Brad Smith, started by Rodriguez and coolly slotted home by Raul. Rui Diaz, 2-0 Seattle. That was the score at the half. Houston feeling perhaps they should have had one. Definitely here, but it wasn't to be as Kyoto skies the penalty. Minotas was barreled over. There was a little bit of black and blue and stop and go. Some chippiness at times. Some tough tackles in the preseason, but half a dozen corners from that far side flag. And late in the game, down a man with the Struna red card. It led to Cabezas stabbing that in on the second try. Diaz denied by Willis. Keeping it a 2-1 margin. Pena thought he would have the tying goal right there. He did get it, though, on the cross from Hairston. And Hairston running through the middle off a Seattle surge, but left themselves open in the back. And the speedy Hairston out of Louisville and coming over from the Colorado Rapids, making it 3-2 late, and that's how it finishes. Houston 3, Seattle 2. More Mobile Mini Sun Cup action coming up on Wednesday here from Kino North Stadium in Tucson. Thanks to our crew, thanks to the staffs of the Sounders and Dynamo. I'm Neil Sika. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday night from Tucson. Good night.